In this video, I'll show you how to find your Roblox user ID. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Before we get into the steps, I want to make it clear that this guide is going to work on pretty much any type of mo mobile device, you know, iOS, Android, tablet, phone, they're all going to work. So you actually need to go and close off of the mobile app, just like so, and you need to go and open up a browser. So that can be Google Chrome, Safari, whichever browser you've got, it does not matter. Then what you need to do is go to roblox.com. So as you can see, I'm already here on roblox.com and you're going to go be taken to this screen here. Now it's going to give you the option to continue in the app, but you want to go and tap on continue in browser just at the bottom, just like so. It's quite dark, but make sure you tap on it. Then you'll need to go and sign into your Roblox account. Uh, just go and enter your username and password, which you use to go and sign into the Roblox app. It's exactly the same. Then we need to go to our Roblox profile. So to do that, go and tap on the three bars in the top left of Roblox and go and tap on your username. And this is going to go and take you to your profile. As you can see, we can see how many followers I got, my friend count as well. Then all you want to do is go and click on the URL bar. So depending on what type of browser you're using in Safari, it's at the bottom, but in Google Chrome, it's going to be at the top, but just where you can go and see roblox.com, tap there. Then after the users and the slash, that list of numbers, that row of numbers, that is your Roblox user ID. So let's make sure we select it all just like so. So it starts with the one and then it ends in the one as well, but you don't need the slashes. You just want the numbers in between. Then you can go and press copy and that's literally it. I'll clear that and paste it back and just show you my um, user ID. That's literally it. And that's all you need to do to go and get your user ID. And then you can go and use it for whatever you need it for. That's why it's best to copy it as it's quite a long number to go and remember. Um, but of course you could write it on a piece of paper and just go and use it like that. But that's it guys. And then you can just go and start using the Roblox app again. It's absolutely fine. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.